the Major Domo Handicap Chases. Next then. And this one is a three mile one furlong nought to one ten handicap. The top one is a round regal for Martin Lidham, Dan Silly Fami for Alex Cherry Trooper, Craig Beck with Deep Reflection, Thomas Rogers and Steeple Jack Ladd for Graham Clutterbuck. That's it, just five of them then. If they all get round, they'll all pick up money. But looking at the form, Steeple Jack Ladd is the only one that's managed to stay on its feet every time it's raced. So could be interesting this one. They're away and racing. And a round regal is just about the first to show. We can expect some thrills and spills in the rain under the darkened skies here, I think, when four of the five have been on the deck at least once this season. And that's in the big screen. And down towards the first of 20 fences, it'll be a minor miracle if all of these get round, I would think. But it's a round regal, who's just about in front on deep reflection second. And then Steeple Jack Lad, Dan City, Fami, and Trooper, just a bat marker. It's a Long on one to the first. I've got 20 to take. And they're up the first now, and they've all got over that one nicely. And around Regal has settled down in front by about a length to deep reflection second. And the next three are virtually all in the line. Trooper, Dunsity, Fami, and Steeple Jack Ladders. They take the water jump next. And they're all over that one, although around Regal gave it plenty of air. And the lead is now down to just three quarters of a length. The pace is not particularly quick. As they get to this ditch, and they'll jump that one quite nicely. So around Regal continues to lead. On deep reflection and trooper. Dan City Fami and the orange sleeves. And Steeple Jack Lad at the back for the birthday boy Graham Clutterbuck. Although by the time this is going out on air, it would have been his birthday yesterday. But it's around Regal in front from Dan City Fami second. And then deep reflection and trooper. And Steeple Jack Lad the back marker. And towards the next end, and they're all jumping okay at the moment. Over that one okay as well, although Dan City Family for Alex Cherry was a little bit slow. Got over it okay. Steady up for the next one then, get a good close in view of them with only five runners. And again, Dan City Family did not jump in all that well for Alex Cherry as they race downhill then with a round wriggle still the leader. Deep reflection second and trooper third. Steeple Jack Lad fourth and then Dan City Fami just the back marker. They're looking for a good jump for that one. This time it was a round Regal's turn to make the mistake. That one's been on the deck at least twice this season, probably three times. And Deep Reflection has now gone on. So it's Deep Reflection in front from a round Regal second. And the Trooper is just about showing third as they get to this plain one. And again, it was a round Regal who just ran straight through the top of it. Not respecting these fences at all. And Deep Reflection. Jumping well in the lead though at the moment by two. To around Regal, Dan City Family, the two have made the most mistakes. Then Trooper on the outside is fourth. And Steeple Jack Lad, just the back marker with a big white face and the four white socks. The green jacketed deep reflection being joined again there by around Regal as they get to the next one. And again, around Regal just ran straight through it, didn't bother to jump in at all. So absolute miracle if that one gets around they come to this next one and that'll be the last one next circuit and this time it was the leader deep reflection that decided to give it a wallop so troopers gone on then now as they swing out for a complete circuit and they've negotiated 10 fences and it's got to be an absolute miracle that they're all still standing so i think trooper and possibly steeple jack are the only two that haven't made a mistake so far around regal who's definitely been the biggest culprit on the outside of deep reflection then Trooper and Steeple Jack Lad and Dan Silly Fami, who's also had one or two little skirmishes with the disaster as they take the next. And again, Dan Silly Fami wasn't all that clever at the back, and they're in Indian file now, and Deep Reflection's the leader. Around Regal is second, and Trooper is third, Steeple Jack Lad is fourth, and Dan Silly Fami is fifth. This is the water jump, they'll all get over this one, okay? And so they do. Deep Reflection is in front. Going down towards the next then. The lead now, probably the biggest it's been so far. It's up to a good three or four. And they all got over that ditch okay. They gave that ditch plenty of respect and jumped it nicely. Deep reflection is four clear of a round regal as they get to this next plain one. And they all got over that one okay, although a round regal wasn't quick over it by any means. And deep reflection's lead is now five. So could this one slip the field? Less than a mile to go now, and Deep Reflection is clear in front from Trooper second, around Regal third, Steeple Jack Lad fourth as they get over number 15. And Silly Fami is had a shot. 
it's all surprised if we're not seeing one of these or one or two of these for the last time with the transfer window upon us as they get over number 16 and deep reflection is in the lead with a round regal second and trooper third steeplejack lad fourth and dan city family well out of shot and seemingly out of it but it's deep reflection and now towards the 17th that's four from home and they're all still standing amazingly and deep reflection is six clear of trooper and around regal and their steeple jack lad starting to make a move they've got three more to jump and the chasing pack are getting closer to this leader but deep reflection jumped that one quite well and still leads by two trooper second steeple jack lad is third i think around regal's done for back in fourth as they make their way then into the final three furlongs of the race and it's deep reflection who's got two fences to take and he's still in the lead by a good three lengths to Trooper second, Steeplejack Lad third and around Regal fourth. Dan City Family is somewhere drift out a shot in fifth. And coming down towards these final two, it's looking as though Deep Reflection's probably only got to jump there, but he jumped that one really slowly. Are we going to wait for Dan City Family? Yes, we are. There he goes. And it's Deep Reflection in the lead still by a couple to Trooper and Steeplejack Lad. There's the final fence. They're all over it. Unbelievable. They've all got round. And Deep Reflection is going to race up into the final furlong. And I don't think anybody's going to get anywhere near him. This is going to be a bit of a procession, this race. I've expected more from Steeplejack Lad and Trooper because they put in a decent round of jumping but Deep Reflection is going to take it and Deep Reflection is the winner. Steeplejack Lad is second, Trooper is third, Around Real is fourth and Dan City Family is fifth and a race where we expected thrills and spills and all sorts we got pretty much nothing and a bit of a procession really in the end but Thomas Rogers won't mind because it's another winner on the board for him and there we go, deep reflection for Thomas Rogers, the winner, Steeplejack Lad for Graham Clutterbuck, second, Trooper for Craig Beckwith was third, and around Regal was fourth, and Dan Family for Alex Cherry was fifth.